I love these 99 cents windmills, they're very colorful and I was thinking of ways to make this better. They already turn very nicely in the wind and so I, what I did was uh, I added an LED and this would be powered by the, by the windmill. So basically when the windmill turns the LED would come on. I'm surprised they haven't uh, mixed something like this. Uh, something that doesn't need a battery. It's very simple to make. Basically you have to wind a coil about uh, a thousand turns. And let me take this apart plastic part where you can what I did I just put in hot glue if you want to make it more permanent of course you have to use epoxy I glue a CD there and I glue some magnets neodymium magnets now, and this part would fit into the spindle here the construction uh, of this part is I just put the coil on one side of the uh, CD and uh, I use two CDs so I just sandwich the coil inside and I just temporarily I just use tape scot scotch tape and just tape it together and you would have a service where your, your magnets uh, can rotate and get as close to the coil as possible. This this is less than a sixteenth of an inch brighter. You can put another coil there. So you can have two coils. You can put them in parallel or you can put them in series and your LED would be brighter. Since I'm just using one small red LED, I think they're about two volts, 1.8 to 2 volts or maybe a little higher. If you want it to light uh, better, you can use a uh, green LEDs. I think the voltage, the forward uh, voltage is a little lower, uh, like so. And there's a retaining clip here, and that's it. You press it back in as the Magnets rotate over the coil, it will generate a small amount of electricity which is enough to, uh, to light the uh, LED. And you don't have to worry about the polarity because this is AC. Probably, I think it probably generated 2 volts or so. So it doesn't really require a lot of RPM to to light up this small LED. I have three here. You have to make sure the polarity is opposite of this. So when you put a magnet against this, it repels. So this is this is the side that you want facing down and about midway between the center and the edge of the CD because this is how the coil is in the center is here you want the center of the magnet to pass over the center of the coil there so now I have two CDs here and I sandwich the coil in between. It has a 1000 turn. I think these are 32 gauge wires and I strip and clean both ends of the enamel wire so that it will um, make good contact. 